show Snow Dragon opened this weekend at the Skylight Music Theater in Milwaukee. Yep, Julie Collins joins us live from the theater to give us an inside look at this show filled with fantasy. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, you guys. It is filled with fantasy as well as a very deep message, and we have a special treat for you guys. Poser of this show came all the way here to Milwaukee from Bangkok. Thank you so right. much for joining us here. This is Sum Tao here, and thank yeah, you so hi. much for joining us. This is your ninth opera you've written? My ninth written? opera, yes. It's wow. my ninth opera. And why this one here, this book, based on one of your novels? It's based on one of my novels, The Fallen Country, which is really the story of a uh, a child who has gone through a terrible trauma, and his analyst, who in, has many issues of her own. She's, she deals with children's troubles all the time, and she herself has become numbed yeah. to it. So it's really about two people who are very troubled, mm -hmm. who have to heal each other. So it's a deep, a deep uh, story there, but it's done yeah. through the beautiful music of, of opera, which you've composed. Yeah, uh, really, what, what it is is that, you know, many children who suffer from traumas go into a, a, a secret private fantasy world. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, psychiatrists say that they dissociate, but in, because of the magic of opera, or if we pretend that the world that they flee into is a real world. Yeah. And so this is really the, how the, in order to bring the uh, therapist out of her own mm -hmm. shell, he has to make her believe that the fantasy is true as well. Wow, beautiful. And it's all come to life now on stage through the artistic director's work. Vin Schwa, thank you so much for, for joining us this morning. Well, absolutely. Thanks for being here. Quite a partnership. It's, it's been a real blast, yeah. And, and you guys, opening night, how did it go on? on it was magnificent. I mean, to have an international world premiere here in Milwaukee, to have pretty much a sold-out house and the excitement of the after party. It was, a, it was a great night. Wow. And this is a year and a half making? It's about a year and a, and a half in the making. Um, this was not a, a, a typical world premiere process in that we didn't write the opera and then workshop it for three years. Um, because I'd worked with Sumtau before, I knew the quality of his work. We knew that if he wrote it, we would be able to perform it, and it would be good right off the bat. So it is actually a faster process than most world premieres. But yeah, about a year and a half. Wow, that is awesome. And, and a show for, for all ages. Ages, truthfully, uh, t we we tend to say 12 years and up because it does deal with the difficult topic of domestic sure. violence, and so I think 12 years old is probably a good, a good uh, wow. cutoff line. Great. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Coming up, we are going to show you guys some of those performances in the next half hour and then in the eight o'clock hour. But the show is open uh, to the public and it goes through the 29th. Tickets are available at the box office or online. Back to you guys. All right, Julie. Thanks. Good morning, Julie. Hey, good morning, you guys. So we're here with one of the uh, characters here in the show, Colleen. You have been an opera singer now for almost 20 years. Yes. You have a beautiful voice. We've been hearing oh, thank it. Thank you. Thank Tell you. us about this show, uh, your character, Dora. Um, my character, Dora, is a social worker. She meets a young boy named Billy Binder, who's 12, who's been the victim of domestic violence. Okay, so there's a deep message here, but done, it's all done through music. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, we, we feel that it's really important. Um, to, to keep the message central of um, the healing that uh, Dora finds uh, and all the characters actually find through Billy's suffering um, and through his experiences. Um, so it's just an important topic that we're grateful to have the opportunity to share with the community. Sure. That's great. Really quickly, I want, I'm interested in it. How, how do you keep your voice so beautiful through all the years? You've been doing this for so long. Oh, thanks. Um, yoga, <laughs> sleep, uh, eating well, I guess, as much as I hate to admit it. Sure. Um, and yeah, some awesome. kettlebells here and there too. Wow. Yeah. And lots of practice, I'm sure. Lots of practice, yes. Well, we're going to let you get to it. This okay. is uh, one of your, your songs from the show. Yes, Dora's opening aria. Beautiful. Thank you. Here we go.
the Skylight Theater. The show runs through March 29th. Show times are 7:30 on uh, weekdays and then 2 p.m. on Sundays. Tickets are still available, guys. Isn't it a beautiful voice she's got? Amazing. Incredible. All right. Uh, the show, The Snow Dragon, opened this weekend at the Skylight Music Theater. And if I was a betting man, I'd bet it's a good show. But you're not. No. Julie Collins is live at the theater to give us an inside look at the show. Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, what we've seen so far during commercial breaks, it is an excellent show. And joined here now with us is the youngest actor, uh, characters, Billy, but you're Luke. So tell us what it's like to be in this show here. It's great. You know, I get to work with a lot of great people, and the process has just been so smooth, and it's been a lot of fun. And opening night went well? Yeah, it did. It went very well. We had a good turnout, and um, it started a good conversation in the community. Awesome. Now you're you're only 12 years old, correct? Yeah. But yeah. you've been performing for how long? Five years since I was seven. Wow. What other shows have you been in? Um, I do a lot at First Stage. I was just recently in Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Nice. But this is a fun one to be a part of. This one that has a deep message. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And it's great to be a part of such a show that starts a conversation like this. That's great. Now, what are you going to show us here? Uh, my character Billy, his anger is about to burst, and his anger is going to take him to the fallen country while he's biking. And that's where we're in right now. Yes. There's these, all these shoes and, and the, kind of your fantasy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll take it away then, Billy. Here they go. Colleen there and the performance here by Luke, Billy, the uh, main characters in this show. Again, this show goes through March 29th. All show times are 7.30 and 2 p.m. on Sundays. Tickets are still available here at the Skylight Theater in the Third Ward, so you can pick those up online or here at the box office. Back to you guys. All right. Thanks, Julie. Lighting, yes, and lots of beautiful lighting going on here in the show. I'm going to kind of walk over here, so it, hopefully the, the lighting guys can, can carry us over here to Cassandra, the, we, the snow dragon. We are finally introducing ourselves to the snow dragon and all the viewers out there. Beautiful costume, Thank lots you. of glitter. Thank you. Yes, Jason Orlenko designed them. There's, and especially before 8 o'clock, it's quite a bit of glitter. <laughs> all the way down to the shoes, too. Indeed. Beautiful. I have some fantastic power boots that, my, that are my dragon hooves. Awesome. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the dragon here, the character you, you play. The dragon is uh, a representation of many things. I'm kind of the maternal spirit in a way, but I uh, guide people through the healing process in the Fallen Country, which is Billy's imaginative world where he has all of his disassociation. Sure. Wow. So you're going to take Billy kind of through that here for us this morning. We're, that's what we're doing now? Indeed. This is, he's just met the dragon. And I've kind of given him the rules of the fallen country. And at this point, we're going to give him the confidence to move forward. All right. Well, have at it. Take right. it away. Oh! <laughs> 
So that is the beautiful sounds of Cassandra as a snow dragon and Billy. Uh, Luke playing Billy up there. Uh, this is, show goes on through March 29th. Tickets are still available at the box office as well as online. You can get those there. You're going to see lots of interesting uh, characters here as well as a deep message. Guys, this is a beautiful show. Back to you. All right, thank you.